Hello, this is Ruth Ann McKinnon. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do something just slightly different. Um, my husband and I just recently celebrated an anniversary and we gave each other, uh, we're trying not to buy too many things since we moved into an apartment. So of course, you know, I'm a big frag head. I love scent and I, of course, now I'm buying him all kinds of things. So anyway, we just kind of exchanged three different fragrances each. And so I'm going to present to you the ones that we purchased. None of them are popular or usual. So they're all a bit, you know, not what you're going to see typically on YouTube. And um, those are the kind of fragrances I like. And those are the kind of videos I like to do. So my first three are going to be the ones I gave my husband. And then, then I'm going to do the, the three that, that um, he gave me. All right. So I'm just going to get started. The first one is from Alyssa Ashley. This is the bottle. It's called B-Boy Hip Hop. It looks totally like it's marketed to teenagers, but you know, since when does that ever stop me from buying something? Definitely a masculine scent, very youthful smelling. I would describe this as a warm cinnamon citrus. So it's interesting because it's got the citrus fresh aquatic side of a fresh, uh, fragrance for guys but it's also got this warm cinnamon vanilla thing going on it's a little aromatic there is a note of tobacco leaf in here also lemon and bergamot Alyssa Ashley fragrances are very affordable this one was probably it was definitely under 30 somewhere between 25 and 30 I think I purchased it on eBay and it's just a very harmless like go away for the weekend warm weather hot summer kind of thing great to wear by the pool or at the beach. Uh, very simple, but yet very nice. It's not at all boring. I mean, nothing's worse than boring, right? And overdone. But this is not like anything else really that he has or that I've smelled. So it's unique enough. And uh, I really, we really enjoyed it. So I'm, we're going to go on a cruise this summer and I think I'm going to pack this for him. All right, next up... <clears throat> This next one is a little bit more of a barbershop type of a fragrance, and it's French, and it's Faconable. Faconable. I think the when the, this thing is on the sea, it's a soft sea. <clears throat> so Faconable, I don't know. My husband speaks French, and I should probably ask him how this is pronounced, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is what I would consider a typical French eau de toilette for men it's got um it's it's a very aromatic fresh spicy fragrance it came out in 1994 in the top notes it does feature mint and orange and in the base there's sandalwood and musk very gentlemanly very but not old like i wouldn't say this is grandpa's scent grandpa could wear it i mean my dad my husband is a grandpa but i think a young man <clears throat> could easily pull this off as well the thing that's interesting is a lot of the um, men's barbershop type fragrances feature lavender and or lilac. This does not have either one of those. So it's a little unique in that way. It's it's just a French masculine eau de toilette. It's got a very nice bottle, very nice packaging. I don't remember how much this cost because I bought it quite a while ago, but it was not very expensive. It's quite affordable. So, fascinable however that's pronounced very nice um, metal container that it comes in all right next up the last mail now this is a true classic this is from Caron the house of Caron and this is a rather probably the most famous one that they put out and this is Royal Royal Bain de Caron this is also called royal champagne but it's the champagne has been taken out of the name when i looked it up on fragrantica they they had it both listed as both because it kind of looks like a champagne bottle and um i just have heard so much about this fragrance and it's so old this one goes back to 1923 i would describe it as a balsamic amber bomb 
it's a very strong, healthy, weighty, kind of spicy fragrance for men. And um, even it, there is a bit of vintageness to it, but it doesn't, again, it doesn't. I think a young man could wear this. Like my son, my sons who are in their twenties could wear this easily. Other notes include lilac, rose, benzoin, incense, vanilla, amber, sandalwood, cedar. If you look on Fragrantica, it's won many, many awards. It's a real old school gentleman scent. And for the price, it's worth trying. And it's supposedly um, <clears throat> for men and women. Like a lot of the fragrances back in the day, the 20s and 30s, they were made for both men and women. But in my opinion, this is too masculine for me. I would not. I will enjoy him wearing it, but it's way too masculine for me to wear. But it's really, really lovely. I really recommend this, you guys. It's, it's beautiful. All right. And then on to the ones he got for me. Now, this is a fragrance that was recommended by a viewer. So you know who you are. I want to thank you for that. I had talked about how this summer I was really looking forward to wearing a lot of fresh citrus fragrances. And I'm really, really in the mood for that once the heat really ramps up the summer. So someone had had suggested this to me. This is A Girl in Capri by Lanvin, which is a French perfume house. And um, this is gorgeous. And so what I did was I found it for a good price on eBay, sent the link to my husband. So he bought it for me and then gave it to me for our uh, anniversary. This came out in 2019. This is a classic citrus marine kind of a fragrance, but there's also a lot of aromatic notes in here, which makes it interesting. I would call it a citrus freshie, but it's not a boring citrus freshie because of that aromatic quality in there. Um, there is, this is great for beach days, heat, and I think I'm going to take this with me on our cruise and it's got a real creamy quality to it as well. Very classy, very well done. Beautiful fragrance, so I'm really grateful to have it. Can't really say anything about how long it lasts because I haven't given it a full wear yet. Uh, but the way that it smells and from the fact that it's from a good house, I'm hoping I can get at least four hours out of it. But that's hard with citruses in the heat, so we'll see. And then the next one is another citrus. All of the ones that I'm getting here are, um, that I'm covering here today are citrus. This is from Fragrance World and it's called Fresh as Citrus. Really nice, sturdy box. The bottle is also really nice and sturdy. The lid is plastic, but it's a really heavy plastic with real metal. And the sprayer is fabulous. If you told me this was a $100 bottle, I would believe it, but it was right in the mid-20s. And I got this because it was, I had seen something about it on, on another perfume channel saying that this one really, really performs. And I'm all about citrus fragrances, and especially if they perform. I hate it when they're fleeting because so often citrus perfumes are very short-lived. This smells like a fresh-squeezed, lemonade, limeade, lemon-lime mixed together. It's not sweet. And I'm not a big fan of citrus fragrances that are sweet. Like I don't want, I want my citrus to be fresh. I don't want it to be sweet. And I recently purchased a couple of um, body spray type fragrances on Etsy. And they were described as being citrus freshies, beach kind of fragrances. And when I got them, they both were syrupy sweet. And I know that that's the in thing right now. And that's what I think a lot of younger women are looking for. I'm a grandma now in my 50s. And I, I like sweet fragrances, but I don't like them in the summer. Sweet for me is cloying in the summer. I prefer freshness, aquatic light notes, but I would like them to last. I don't want to walk around smelling sweet. I, I just don't find that to be attractive in the summer. This one I have tested 
and it does last for hours. I got at least six hours out of it. In fact, I put this on and about an hour later, I washed dishes by hand and I could still smell it on my hands. So that is very impressive, very impressive. So if you like fresh sweet citrus, that'll last, I highly recommend this. Uh, again, it's Fresh as Citrus by Fragrance World. And then the last one is another one by Caron. Look at the size of this bottle, you guys. Here's the box. All right, so this is Eau de Caron Fort or Forte. There's no accent on the E, so I'm thinking it's just Fort. This is an Eau de Toilette uh, formulation, but it smells like an, and it performs like an eau de parfum, you guys. And look at this. This is a 6.7 fluid ounce bottle. It's just enormous. Like you could, you could knock someone out with this. And when it first came in the box, it had a top on it. And then this was separate. The, the sprayer was separate. So it's a little odd in that this doesn't fit on the sprayer. So I suppose you could use it as a pouring bottle, uh, which I wouldn't do. I prefer to spray it. But anyway, that's one interesting thing about this fragrance. I have not seen any videos about this, but there is a uh, Fragrantica page on it. So I found out from that page that this came out in 1999. This is a citrus fragrance featuring orange. So that's a little different. There is bergamot in here, but there's no lemon or lime is a real orange fragrance and i love orange fragrances i loved eating oranges it's my favorite fruit absolutely i i would eat them all day every day if i could this also features black currant granny smith apple coriander lilac amber cedar and musk so i would not describe this as a spicy fragrance this is more of a full-bodied orange fragrance with a little bit of marine notes in there. I would say I don't get apple. I don't get coriander. I think that those are just in there to add uh, character. I don't, a little bit of the cedar maybe in musk. It's, so it's a very interesting fragrance. Um, it's a little powdery, but overall, if I could describe this with three words, I would say warm, spicy orange. That's how I would describe it. And the spice is downplayed. This is not this is not an in your face old school 70s opium type spice, not at all. The spice is subtle and in the background, in the front is really a warm, beautiful creamy orange, powdery, creamy powdery orange. And I'm really happy about this fragrance. It's beautiful. It's too big of a bottle for me to travel with by air. Uh, I could decant it into a little travel size though, and I'm pretty sure I will do that. But I'm gonna wear the heck out of this this summer. So that's it for my uh, video, this video, and I'm going to film another one here shortly after this one uploads uh, on a range of perfumes that I just decided to do a video on. So. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.